Now here's an interesting little segment. Just follow me, let me spin you around. Let's look up there in the sky. You see that helicopter going over there? Now for the last two or three weeks, over here, there's been groups of two and three helicopters coming over the plot. And I've no idea what they're up to. They're up to something. Edinburgh Airport is about 10 miles that way. So I'm assuming they're going to Edinburgh Airport, but there must be something interesting because they don't show up on any of the sort of, you know, the flight tracking websites and apps and things you can get. They don't show up on any of them. So I just thought I'd show you that while that one was going past. There was two of them went over about 10 minutes ago and there's the third one going over there. So there's some helicopters around here up to something interesting. Hello folks, I hope you're all doing well. I am hiding out in the tunnel at the moment because it's a bit windy outside. I don't know about everybody else, but the weather up here is just been a bit it's been a bit crazy recently we've had torrential rain we've had really hot temperatures we've had sun it's really cloudy at the moment we've had rain this morning it's really 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 windy yesterday afternoon into this morning as well we've been up to sort of 30 40 mile an hour winds everything is just a little bit bonkers at the moment anyway i'm up here because eventually we're going to get some stuff planted out i did some planting out the other day that i didn't have the camera with me but let's let's venture outside hopefully Hopefully this isn't going to be too windy on the microphone, it's not too bad, but I'll just, let me just spin you around a little bit. So down here, let's have a little walk along here. This is a full bed of turnips along here. So these are little purple top turnips all the way along here. There's probably about 20 of them or so in there. They're, they're going great guns. I've sort of managed to get themselves in there and get themselves settled and sorted. So they're all nice in the, in the new home. But if I, if I come around here, I've got a bit of a, a sort of identical bed down here but it needs a it needs a little bit of tlc before plant anything out in there because it's got all this uh this willow herb sort of stuff which is it's everywhere but it comes out dead easy so hopefully that's going to be a nice quick job to get that one sorted the netting and stuff's on it already so with a bit of luck that's not going to take much getting sorted so what are we going to put out in there Let's have a wander down here. Apologies for the wind again. So we've got two different types of cauliflower here. Oh, we've got a couple of courgettes. Ignore the courgettes. They're going to a different bed. So these ones here are cauliflower Clapton F1. That's your typical, normal, sort of white-headed cauliflower. And the ones over the back there are a type called Veronica. And that's a type of Romanesco cauliflower. Now, me and cauliflowers have a bit of... Uh, a bit of bit of a mixed relationship we have some success and we have some failures where they it's quite common from them go to seed and you see them and the, the heads on them go massive and all the all the flowers come on them and stuff like that and romanesco ones are supposed to be even more difficult to grow than normal ones but tell you what we're going to give it a try so first things first i'm going to get on i'm going to clear this bed over i'm not going to film that you don't need to see me clearing out a bed but i'll come back to you when we're going to get these planted out and sorted out and show you how it's all looking but back with you in just a jiffy oh. so for the observant amongst you, you might be thinking hold on a second that's not a mark up the allotment he's in his back garden with his lovely selection of plants and lettuces that he grows in the back garden well i am indeed because somehow I managed to press the wrong button on the camera when I was up at the plot and it managed to take a picture that looks something like this. Which I'm sure, as you can see, isn't ideal. And what it should have been is me digging a lovely hole, backfilling it with blood fish and bone and a bit of compost, mixing it all in, putting some lovely looking cauliflowers in, pressing it all down to make sure that, you know, brassicas are in the hole nice and firm with the soil around and about them and stuff like that. And talking about the great little container-wise uh, sort of cell tray things that I've got especially the size that it was it's perfect for growing things on but no we're missing all of that but what we do have is a bit of footage coming up next it is the finished article it shows you how it all looks at the end when it's done and dusted and me finishing off with a bit of bits and pieces but anyway without further ado we'll switch back over to the real footage and you can see how things have looked after I managed to get it all sorted. Right, and I'm back, and this all, I must admit, this all feels a bit rushed, getting all this done like this, but the wind is horrendous. And I was looking for something to show you that demonstrates the wind, but hopefully you can see that poor person's cover over there on the plot blown away. It's been ripped and torn, and it's, uh, it's not protecting what it used to protect anymore, shall we say. Anyway, back to this, the last little bit. So all the little cauliflowers are in there, 
they've had a good water, they've been sort of firmed in nice and hard, blood fish and bone, bit of compost in the hole. You can see the green net in there. I'm gonna to have to do this off camera again because it's so windy to show you, but the dead simple with the, the water pipes going over the top and it's just got the, the cable ties on the net and it just slides like that and it just comes all the way over down to the bottom then it gets pegged in and there's two things around here that I protect these from. One is the pigeons that live in the trees over there that cause me no end of bother. And the other is this time of year, butterflies come in and they absolutely love brassicas and they'll lay their little eggs and then the caterpillars will hatch and they will eat all your leaves. Anyway, quickly, let's, uh, let's dash back into the polytunnel out of this horrendous wind into here where we've got a bit of a bit of shelter and it's maybe it's not so bad but there's like i said it, it, it seems a bit rushed today that's because it's it's awful out there i don't know how well the microphone's working how much wind noise it's picking up things like that um there's loads of stuff going on i've got loads of stuff going on i mentioned those courgettes that i've got there that i thought i brought two courgettes apparently i've only brought one courgette because the other one i brought was a boston marrow apparently so good job good job i label the plants these days because i didn't want to put this in with the courgette or else it would grow massive other things we've got going on somebody gave me a watermelon here so i'm going to plant that in that in that far corner sort of right over there we'll get that in there you can see the polytunnel looking all right in here let me just show you this look at these are lovely little cucumbers starting to come on there within a i reckon a couple of days they'll be ready to be picked we've got some of the big cucumbers starting to grow over there and quick as a flash let's move over here We've got the first signs of life on the tomatoes. Can you see them there? We've got some tiny little tomatoes there and some tiny little tomatoes there. And that's on the, the sun gold ones. So they're the little yellowy goldy color, sort of cherry-esque kind of tomatoes anyway. But that's me done for today. I'm gonna run off home and, and hide somewhere out of this wind. I've got a cake to make this afternoon because it's young Robbie's birthday, so he's, he's 10 this week. So I'm making a cake this afternoon because he's got a party this weekend and we're going to get all that sorted. So I'm making a Minecraft cake. So there we go. That's what's planned for my afternoon. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, folks. Apologies that well, this one was a bit rushed, but hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.